Hey Guardians, in this video I'm going to show you the ultimate Hunter PvE void build that will not only enhance your survivability with infinite invisibility, but also make you an unstoppable force. This build does not depend on seasonal artifacts, so you can use it any season. So whether you're a seasoned guardian or a newcomer, grab your gear, sharpen your blades, and get ready to learn the ultimate void build that will have your fire team begging for your help. When it comes to the void subclass, hunters gain access to powerful abilities that revolve around stealth and mobility. The void subclass allows you to become invisible, sneak past enemies undetected, and reposition yourself for surprise attacks or revives. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. In this guide, we'll be showing you how to unlock the full potential of the Void subclass by combining it with the right armor pieces, mods, and ability combinations to optimize invisibility. First, let's choose our super. For PvE, I recommend Mobius Quiver or Deadfall. Next up, we have our dodge ability. Marksman dodge is useful for reloading weapons in PvP or during damage phases. However, it is not the best for maximizing invisibility. Instead, we want to utilize Gambler's Dodge, which will refill our melee energy when we perform a dodge near an enemy. This is crucial because we will be using our melee charge to go invisible. When it comes to movement, I prefer the triple jump for PvE. As for grenades, it's personal preference, but I use Vortex or Void Wall. Vanishing Step is our go-to aspect, granting invisibility with every dodge. We'll also be using Trapper's Ambush, which has significant benefits for our Void build. With this aspect, you gain the ability Quick Fall, which can be activated when you're in the air. By spending your melee charge, you'll dive to the ground, creating a large smoke cloud upon impact. Targets caught in the cloud are weakened, while you and allies are made invisible. Additionally, your smoke bomb will now make you and your allies invisible. Last but not least, let's talk about fragments. There are a variety of options, but to maximize our invisibility, we want to focus on a few. The first one being Echo of Persistence, where void buffs applied to you, such as Invisibility, Overshield, and Devour, have increased duration. This is vital in allowing us to stay invisible for longer periods of time. The second essential fragment is Echo of Obscurity, which grants invisibility when performing finisher final blows, providing us with an additional option to remain invisible. For the final fragment slot, choose an option that aligns with your preferred playstyle. Some excellent choices include Echo of Provision, which grants melee energy by damaging targets with grenades, and Echo of Expulsion, which causes targets to explode when defeated with void abilities. By utilizing these fragments in conjunction with our optimized subclass and gear, we can truly become a master of void. Now that we have optimized our void subclass, it is time to discuss the best exotics to take advantage of this build. The most important exotic to use with this build is the Omni Oculus Chess Piece. This exotic provides a huge boost to your invisibility, making it last longer and recharge faster. The exotic perk Beyond the Veil grants you a second smoke bomb charge and damage resistance while invisible. Additionally, when you make an ally invisible, they gain damage resistance while invisible and you gain melee energy. If you make two or more allies invisible with one melee charge, it instantly refunds your melee charge. The synergy between this exotic and our void subclass is undeniable, making it a must have for any hunter looking to maximize invisibility. If you don't have Omni Oculus, don't worry. You can still achieve great results with the six coyote, which grants an additional dodge charge. This means you can go invisible more often and stay alive longer. Another option is the Graviton Forfeit, which extends the duration of your invisibility and makes your melee recharge faster while invisible. Despite being a great exotic, in endgame content like Master Raids and Grandmasters, Omni Oculus is superior by providing you with infinite invisibility. Now for the most important part of maximizing your invisibility as a hunter is to master the ability combinations. It's one thing to have the right gear, but it's another thing entirely to know how to use it effectively. So let's dive into the ability combinations that will take your invisibility to the next level. To achieve maximum invisibility with Omni Oculus, a specific ability sequence is needed. Beginning with the two melee charges, the first step is to utilize Quick Fall instead of Smoke Bomb. Quick Fall offers extra seconds of invisibility for both the user and allies, as well as an opportunity to dodge enemy fire and deal damage to nearby enemies. It's important to remember that making teammates invisible will refill your melee energy. If you manage to make multiple allies invisible, your entire melee charge will be refunded. However, if this is not feasible, like if you're playing solo or something, you will use your gambler's dodge to refill your melee energy. Once you have two melee charges, 
Use them just before your invis timer runs out, enabling your dodge to have more time to regenerate. By performing as many finishers as possible, you can extend your invisibility and provide your abilities with additional time to recharge. Repeat the sequence and you can stay invisible to infinity and beyond. Here are some tips to keep in mind when using your ability combinations. Firstly, try to always dodge near an enemy to refill your melee charge, as this will allow you to use quick fall more often. Secondly, try to use your melee charge on allies as much as possible to refill your melee energy. With good timing, it is possible to keep you and your allies invisible for an indefinite amount of time using this ability alone. In fact, we've used this technique in a Grandmaster for the Warden of Nothing to defuse the bombs without killing any enemies. If you choose to use exotic armor other than Omni Oculus, your ability sequence will still be similar but not as effective. With only one melee charge, it is critical to use Gambler's Dodge to refill it. Making allies invisible will not refund your melee charge, so it's important to use finishers to extend your invis and allow your abilities more time to recharge. I recommend playing it safe if you are out of abilities and waiting for them to recharge before you re-engage. Now that we've covered the ability combinations to maximize invisibility, let's dive into the mod usage to enhance our playstyle further. You want to pick mods that increase your survivability or help recharge your dodge and melee abilities. First we have helmet mods, and there aren't any that boost what we're looking for here, so heavy ammo finder is usually the best option. For your arms, a great choice is melee kickstart. When your melee energy is fully expended, you gain melee energy. Additionally, your armor charge is consumed and you gain additional melee energy per stack. Another mod for arms is Momentum Transfer. When you have this mod enabled, causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown. Bolstering Detonation grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. Focusing Strike grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a melee attack. For your chest piece, you want to utilize resistance mods depending on your activity. If there are many snipers, you will want sniper resist. If there's many explosions, you want concussive dampener. Or if there's an elemental burn, you could add resistance for that element. For boots, some good options include invigoration, which reduces melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb. Next we have insulation, which reduces class ability cooldown each time you pick up an orb. Next, there's Orbs of Restoration, which, when picking up an orb, grants a small amount of energy to your ability with the least energy. And Absolution, which reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb. There are several great mods for your class items, including Distribution, which reduces all ability cooldowns when using your class ability near targets. Outreach, which reduces your melee cooldown when using your class ability. And last but not least, we have Utility Kickstart, when your class ability energy is fully expended, you gain class ability. For our stats, we want to maximize our mobility to have faster dodge recharge, followed by resilience for extra survivability, and strength to help recharge our melee ability. Thanks for watching this guide on the ultimate Hunter Void build for PvE. Remember, this build is all about using invisibility to take advantage, whether it's to avoid enemy fire or to land a devastating blow on your opponent. It's a versatile and powerful playstyle that can be used in a variety of PvE situations. So give this build a try and let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your feedback and any tips or tricks you might have to make this build even better. If you need help or have questions, go ahead and hop in our Discord. The link is found below in the description. We are building a community and working to make it a great place to find an LFG to run some PvP or some PvE. And if you got some value from this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Destiny 2 content. We'll be covering other builds, weapons, and strategies to help you master the game and dominate your enemies. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.